Hiya, and welcome back to Tower of Fantasy. Today, we're going to be recapping everything that happened on the Reddit, on the Twitter, and even on YouTube. Anything noteworthy, I'll try to find and show it to you. Be patient with me. Could miss stuff. Let's get into it. So first things first, yeah. <laughs> Most of the Reddit posts are entirely to do with the horrible glitch slash hacking that was going on in Tower of Fantasy servers. Not a very good start <laughs> to this week's news. Um, but alas, yes, there was some shittery afoot where people could actually steal your entire inventory. I don't know if it's stealing or if they just deleted it. Uh, probably stealing, but those people have apparently been just ri ripped to shreds, which is good. Unfortunately, uh, well, you guys will see, there's a meme right here, <laughs> which kind of also is a good point. I receive your entire inventory. You receive eh, maybe 200 compensation, <laughs> maybe. Of course, the ever obsession of Lynn continues, and golly, just golly, man, just that skirt is every time I see it, I'm like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> as much as I get it, it's like sex appeal, ah, but also, Jesus Christ, <laughs> like, what happened? Like, I'm so put together, but let's just go all, pop off when it comes to this, you know what I mean? So, like, just have a tutu or something, anyways. The entire server this week, <laughs> everyone's just like, you're gonna try to steal my, steal my shit, I, I'll kill you. <laughs> you can see that the community handled it within stride, although a lot of content creators were amazing and said, like, stop playing, like, walk away, <laughs> do not tempt fate. Just give it a minute. Don't play for a day, okay? And this is, of course, the meme that I seen earlier this week, <laughs> which was worried about not having enough pulls for 2.0. This week's new clusterfuck of bugs uh, involving gear stealing. Well, yeah, <laughs> but make it rain. <laughs> Making it rain with pulls. I'll be honest, boys. I still don't know if we have enough. <laughs> because what if they pull some shit with Ruby and then immediately Lynn and then the other person and then we're just, oh, what could it be? Could it be Ruby, then the two wielding katana lady, then Lynn? I know some people could be like, no, <laughs> that doesn't work for me and Ice Cow. But I'm like, okay, okay I calm down. I just, for your boys, so it would be great for me. <laughs> anyway, also, people are so creative in the community. Uh, emergency maintenance is over. Go on, pick it up throws dark matter trash <laughs> uh, <laughs> you think I'm that guy yes you are do you do look like that guy the guy who would grovel at disgusting primo gems or dark crystals wrong game Ugh. also some fantastic art of nemesis well done raven arrival worst of, I'm, I'm bad at reading oh that's so adorable well done look at the thigh the strap bull you know what I'm saying okay this is something I actually want to delve into this is a discussion about will people pull for Lynn I think this is a big bait because yes everyone is probably gonna pull for Lynn with the exception of she gets torched in the nerfing thing which I don't think they'll do because I think people will be hella pissed people are already annoyed that we don't have every now and again like rarer but still have a character that's ungodly strong because it makes it so that it's like oh is this gonna be the character or not it gives you some spice to life you know what I mean the real question is will you have enough pulls for Lynn I was about to say it's not, it's not about whether you're going for her it's about whether you get her okay everyone's gonna be trying but did you really thought did you think Ruby was kind of like an iconic looking character and also has some cool skills and you're like well I'll try and then you that's bleeding into the Lin feed essentially <laughs> I haven't rolled for anything else other than nemesis so I got 120 pulls for Lin I, I would assume you're playing free to play after doing 120 pulls for a one star frig I have 120 pulls guaranteed <laughs> as an F2P baby bye guys again be careful <laughs> as much as I get the like bit my wallet rip uh, going in love it pulls all the galore easy breezy let's get it also with th thirst trapping with her rocking those uh, <laughs> thigh highs how could I not not just I <laughs> <laughs> not just thigh highs my friend but the immaculate thighs complimenting them she doesn't skip lag day. <laughs> you're thirsting or you're just hungry for power. I would just like to say for everyone going buck wild. Uh, again, I don't think they will like adjust Lynn to be unplayable because, or not unplayable, but just like even, I think if there's any character that probably has a high chance to remain pretty goddamn good, I think it's characters that have like a built-in love for the said character. Like, so like again, if they nerf Lynn, I could see people being like, this is just not fun anymore. Like this is the opposite of power creep where there's just no hope anymore. <laughs> there's no like, oh my God, this character is like, hey, if you're an F2P, lock this down, buddy, cause it's gonna be good for you. 
Uh, there's none of that, which is also helpful. So hopefully, Lynn, or at least someone in the future, is that abnormality, and then we go back to basics. Because I do think it's good to have an abnormality every now and again, because it just makes it funner. To below what you guys think about Lynn, what do you guys think she'll be as, as spicy as she was when she was in uh, the Asia servers, or you think she'll be nerfed to shit? <laughs> Let's hope for the first one. Tank enemy bosses, highest DPS team. I was about to say, I, people said that this is how the, the like aggro works, uh, which is... Yeah, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Tower of Fantasy is starting to get stingy. <laughs> I gotta look into this. What? I mean, yeah, I, it's good. It's per the nature. When eventually, if you've sucked up all the the wishes from the world, uh, like in the, in the overworld, yeah, twenty dark crystals for a serious security issue, a single yellow pull, and a relic box for the stream. Uh, no DC at all, Dark Crystals at all, uh, even Genshin is better. Well, I think also, well, it's, okay, hey, 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 let's lock it in, okay? You don't know what you're talking about, okay? I'm kidding, Lunar, but I imagine, that, like, Tower Fantasy has a base amount each, each up update that they are willing to give. Uh, I think it's way higher than Genshin just based on, like, the last couple seasons or last couple months. But I do think they're probably around that tier. I do think it would make more sense for them to give a give out stuff on streams. But I also understand from their perspective about trying to be pretty inclusive to everybody outside of the issue. But like if they were to give away a lot of stuff on a stream and this expires within a day, I don't think people people who were busy that day would just be completely share of luck, which is kind of cool the way like for instance Tower of Fantasy for Fortress Clash and for Void Rift, you're able to store three like attempts, so you're actually able to do it at some point within the week usually, uh, instead of Genshin, which is like oh you miss the day that it's up, oh it's gone forever, <laughs> you know, and you're like oh shit I'm busy I have a job what do you want from me. You know, so I do think hats off to Tower Fantasy in that regard. But overall, yeah, I will say that's pretty stupid. This one I 100% agree on. The fact that they there was like a stupid big secure. People were basically lost their entire inventory and they're given like 20 death, death crystals. Now, with that being said, if people were able to get their inventory back, then yeah, it's it's more of a nuisance than anything. But even still, it's kind of like, I think just like Genshin, if that's the issue, whenever there's a, a, a fuck up or like a maintenance issue where they have to quickly change it, they're not gonna give you more based on the, the potency of the failure. It's it's just you, uniformly across the board, it's 200 for your for your troubles, essentially. That's what, that's the idea at least. Let me see what everyone else thinks. I, like, oh, I love this so much when like the conversation just completely disconnects from the original post because someone's like, it's coming out on Steam? <laughs> and it's just like 15 guys comments <laughs> bless you reddit yeah again it's i think but also i think it's if you were to look over the overall amount gain i understand why they're not giving a lot on streams because what if you can't make it to the stream well granted that you could just be like well then just extend the duration which you can reclaim them but also some people aren't as plugged into the community as, as everybody else and i don't know if, if free to play should be like punished for not tuning into a stream you know what i mean it doesn't mean you can't reward people who tune into the stream i just don't know if it's death men or d dark crystals i think it probably should be like like a shit ton of mo money or uh, currency but just not like super valuable currency that's like if you miss it you're fucked <laughs> you know players doing bounties me just wanting to say hi <laughs> no no please don't take it <laughs> i've worked so hard <laughs> okay so for this one i'm gonna be trying to be a little careful uh, I uh, I don't want to show like leaks too badly, but I yeah I do want to kind of give credit to some of the amazing artists on of course Tower of Fantasy. Uh, this one, boom. Also, I'm not gonna go for the names. You're gonna see the image. We're gonna talk about it. You're gonna see the Twitter page. You're gonna look it up if you're interested in the art. Boom. Okay, I'll I'll do one. I'll do just one. Just one little like peek behind the curtain. Okay. Hey, this week in news in the 2.0 battle pass, we might be getting a hoverboard reskin, which people were saying is apparently not an actual vehicle, but instead just a reskin skin of your ice board which less cool would love to just hover around on an actual longboard type thing anywho uh also the silent wings look so sick the outfit looks rad i don't know what the female outfit looks like probably equally as cool um we got 10 dark crystals and we got a bunch of random bullshit <laughs> like things you can change your nameplate with who 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 is it for what who wants this who sees that thinks yes what yeah no Crazy. Anyway, a lot of the Twitter things are uh, schmexy art, so too hot and spicy for YouTube. Uh, but yes, also, uh, let's talk about this. Okay, so this one is, this is the Ruby post. 
uh, talking about how, you know, Ruby's just incredible, her cute little cutscene, absolutely fantastic. Let's see what people are feeling. People are asking, please, for the love of God, release it on console. We still do not have plans on a console version of Tower of Fantasy. If we do have plans, though, we will inform our community uh, via social media. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely think it's a matter of when, not like if, we're going to get a console version. I, th I do think they are just trying to make sure they can get global up and running in the ruby page people just say lynn 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 ruby nation rise up everyone's pretty happy yay ruby everyone's just supportive i'm not sure if i can read this one uh, he says bad move tower fantasy a lot of non-whales are saving for lynn like me i'm not pulling until i get lynn i want ruby too but uh, i can wait uh, I, if i still want her when she has a rerun it's a good idea just a good like base baseline to make sure you're not good if you're willing to wait but I will say, uh, I don't know. I, t I don't think it's a bad move. I think to, to me, it makes sense. Now, it does make sense if they nuke the hell out of Ruby <laughs> and she's not powerful at all. But if Ruby is a substantial force um, and Lynn is also a substantial force, then back to back value, people are going to be going in because they hear how good Ruby is. Or Ruby is just like Cobble B and it's a little rough. <laughs> but alas, maybe that's their play. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know. Again, to me, it makes sense to bait out the one that's the most wanted if the previous characters are good, because then people will, will feel incentivized to wish, depleting their primo gems, and then having to buy more. And from a business perspective, it just makes a lot of sense. But that could just be me. Lastly, quick breeze by the YouTube. Fantastic community going popping off. Um, sorry, blew on the mic. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we got some guides, a fantastic guide. Your boy Seth doing a Shiro guide. Know a lot of people love Shiro. Check this video out right here. It seems great. It's also a fantastic content creator. We also have a video that I have yet to watch but i probably will watch it's talking about ruby talk about the ruby leaks i do want to talk to Ru about ruby as well with you guys and just kind of yell at you but i also want to get a better gauge of what other people are saying because the tweaks and balances maybe have a sh huge big outcome on whether a character is stronger uh even if they're only decreased by a certain percentage maybe overall it's actually brutal <laughs> who knows so i want to get a better gauge before i can make that video and of course the most watched video are of course the uh, ruby trailer and the uh, 2.0 trailer which was fantastic by the way i really liked how they didn't try to reinvent the wheel they kind of just seen what genshin was doing and thought this is good enough uh, but also, they actually added a lot more animations and weirdness, which I quite enjoyed. Again, I, I quite I quite like how Tower of Fantasy is not like trying to reinvent the wheel. They seem like they're just going and pacing themselves quite appropriately, at least for me. But again, fantastic videos in the community. A lot of people talking about the, uh, of course, hacking going on. So uh, yeah, it was a rough week, <laughs> to be honest, in terms of that. But, of course, Ruby is right around the corner. 2.0 also right around the corner. And frankly, I am quite excited. And I hope you are too. Thank you kindly for your time. If you do not want to sit through the quite long 2.5 update, uh, you can just watch our quick breakdown TLDR, uh, which is why Vera is so exciting. Go check that out if you so desire. It's a blast to make. Very excited. Thank you kindly for your time. And goodbye, my friends.